video plugins, video effects can be some of the most expensive software out there, especially whenever you have to consider uh, media composer compatibility. I mean, even thinking about Pro Tools and audio effects, those can be expensive, but video effects can be very, very, very expensive. So we've come across some very high quality plugins that actually work in Avid Media Composer, and you can download and use all of these plugins I'm going to uh, show you here in this video. You can download them absolutely for free and they'll work right here in Avid Media Composer. So if you just want to know where to get these free plugins, it's right here at hitfilm.com slash Ignite Express. Of course, this link will be uh, in the description below. Ignite Express from HitFilm. Free plugins, more power. You can see over 90 plugins absolutely for free. You can see all of the NLEs that they work in. So it's not just Avid Media Composer that these uh, plugins will work in. But since that's what I use most of the time, that's usually what I talk about on uh, on this channel here is Media Composer. But as you can see, it works in After Effects, Premiere Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, and of course, Avid Media Composer, and then some other ones uh, as well. And like I said, these are 100% free, 100% free, and they're very, very good. So you can come over to this page here, which again will be linked in the uh, description below. Just come down here where it says Get Ignite Express Free, fill in all of this information if you don't already have a hit film. Uh, account and you'll get your download again absolutely for free so real quick before we head over to uh, media composer uh you can see here some of the uh, effects that you get a lot of great effects here let's go through some of them here keying tools that you get which of course you know avid media composer already comes with some really great uh really great keying tools already but here is some more some color tools all kinds of really great stuff. You know, these are high quality effects. You know, sometimes free plugins might not be uh, very good, but these, they are very good. So as you can see, 85 of the 94 plugins are compatible with Avid Media Composer. If we check on something like Premiere, then 88 of the 94 are compatible. Vegas, 91 of the 94 are compatible. Okay, so you won't get all 94 if you're downloading it uh, for Media Composer. And you can, again, click each of these here to see what you get. All right, so again, this is not just Avid Media Composer. It's uh, whatever NLE you have or pretty much whatever NLE that you have. So let's just uh, scroll through the list. You can read that there if you want to, of course, come to this page and read up on it a little bit more. So that's basically all you really need to know. Now for the, the next part of this video, we're going to actually go into Media Composer and I'll show you what uh, many of these, these uh, plugins do, okay? But I also want to mention one more thing. If you don't have Media Composer, if you don't have any of these other NLEs, and you would like to get a free uh, video editor, a free NLE, you can get HitFilm Express for free. It's a, you know, I sort of compare it more to Premiere Pro. That's what it's, uh, it's, it's, it's much more like Premiere Pro than it is Media Composer. And it has a, you know, a bit of After Effects in there, in there as well. And again, like I said, you can get the Express version absolutely for free. You know, it's, it's a nice lightweight uh, editor. I don't mean lightweight in that uh, it doesn't do a lot. It does quite a bit. What I mean is it's it doesn't seem to be very heavy on the system. It it works uh, you know, pretty pretty well, actually. Uh, so if you don't have Media Composer, you don't have Premiere Pro, you don't have anything like that, then uh, you can also get a free video editor right here as well, right here. Just click Get Hip Film Express free right there at the bottom, and you're good to go. All right, so again, back to Ignite Express. You'll go in there. This is what you'll find. Uh, to download it, you run the installer. To activate the software, you just enter your uh, email address and password that you provide whenever you click this, whenever you click this button right here. Just remember your your name, your email address, your password, and uh, sign in whenever you install your uh, new plugins. All right. So if all you were interested in was knowing where to get your free plugins, this is where you get them. The links for HitFilm, Ignite Express, and HitFilm Express will. Uh, be in the description below. Okay, so if that's all you wanted to know, you can go ahead and stop watching right now. If you want to see what some of these plugins do, what some of these video effects do, then uh, keep watching. Here we are in Avid Media Composer. I already have a bunch of clips laid out here. Let me go ahead and remove, remove that effect there. So I already have a bunch of clips all laid out. We're going to just try some of these effects. Like, obviously, we can't go through all of them because there's over 80, but Whenever you have them installed, make sure you're up here 
then you know, your effects area in filters. And right here, you'll see Ignite, 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 and all of the different plugins within each of these folders. So again, you have blurs, color correction, color grading, distort, generate, uh, gradients and fills, grunge, keying, keying matte enhancements, uh, lights and flares, particles and uh, simulation. Uh, we have scene, stylize, temporal, and warp. So a bunch of effects within each of these folders. So what do you say we go ahead and check some of these out? So right here we have Ignite 360 video transform. Now, I don't have any 360 uh, degree video, okay? But you can still use this effect uh, as, as an effect. You can do some pretty cool stuff with it. We wouldn't pop in here to our editor here. And we'll just start uh, messing with it. Let's see what this one here does. Z rotation. Open the scale. You can do some pretty cool things with this. Pull the scale up. Now we have like several of those videos now playing with just one effect. Or at least, you know, it looks like several videos playing. Of course, it's just the same one with the effect on it. Pretty cool. And of course, you can, if you're, you know, if you don't know how to use keyframes in uh, Media Composer to sort of animate this, you can always click down here, or you can use your apostrophe or the double quotes key, as it's often called, and just go ahead and mark your, uh, uh, mark your keyframe, and then I'll mark one at the end. Let me come back here. And then we could change some things here then come down to this keyframe and change some things here and then it will will animate through that all right so that's our first effect pretty cool let's go ahead and remove it go on to some blurs here so we have the diffuse as you can see right there it's giving a nice blur effect to that if i hit play it'll play but it's, this is not real time so i'll be scrubbing through so you can see this that's a nice effect there the radius or opacity some presets here all right that's pretty self-explanatory for for blurs and we have lens blurs let's go to a different clip here again we're not going to go through all of these here just uh, some of them choose your source layer all kinds of great uh, effects here this is starting to hit my video card pretty hard here because i'm having to uh uh, record this at the same time. This is a, seems to be a pretty CPU intensive effect, but that's pretty cool there. Let's go ahead and close this down. We'll do one more. Let's just say a zoom blur. So you can see that's full screen, so you can see that better. See that zoom blur on the outer edges there. Very cool. Uh, if you figure somebody's face in the middle, perhaps that might be pretty interesting there as well, which I should have some clips something like this with this zoom blur on it might look pretty cool. Pop this in here. You'll also notice this AVX optional inputs. You can always, you know, you probably always want to choose one there. You can see that zoom blur there. Very cool. And again, don't, don't, you know, don't forget the power of, of uh, adding your, uh, your keyframes in there. So keyframe here and then keyframe at the end here. And of course, we can change that up. So we have some motion in the zoom blur. Very cool. So let's go ahead and move on. We have color correction. So let's go to uh, something here. So how about auto contrast? There you go. You saw that effect pretty quick there. And of course, we can always pop in here and uh, change things up. So a nice quick way to uh, get that contrast in there. Very cool. Very cool. All right. And of course, I'm, you know, right now I'm just throwing the effects right on, on the clips. You can, of course, throw them above the clip if, if that's how you like to uh, work as well. There's hot spots. Here's crush blacks and whites. Pop in here. You can crush that way down. You get a really cool effect. Look at that. This is a time-lapse clip, by the way. So that's pretty cool. So if you look at this clip without the effect. That's what it looks like. All right. And we'll do maybe one more of these. 
go to hot spots. Let's pop this in here. Again, very right off the bat, I haven't changed anything. That's really cool. It's already turned into a night scene uh, right there. Of course, I probably pull my threshold down a bit. Look at that. We've completely changed the look and feel of that clip with this, this one effect here, with this free effect, by the way. All right, let's move on to some color grading here. Here's a day for night. We'll just use our same clip for now. That's, again, right there, you've, you've completely changed the feel of this clip here. Got some presets, sunrise, very cool. Let's remove that one. Here's a vignette. Nice, simple vignette. You can see that vignetting around the corners there. You know, if you go full screen, you can see that around the corners. Pull that in more if you want. And of course, don't forget, we could always do keyframes if uh, we wanted to. So, and then I'll just do one at the end. You could, of course, do some in the middle if you wanted to. And then we'll just, uh, how about we animate some of this here, animate it up and open there. So then when you play your clip back, it'll animate up. Pretty cool. You know, that's more about Media Composer, not these, you know, not these effects in general. You can always keyframe, you know, pretty much any effect out there. All right, plenty more in here that you can use. Three strip color. That's pretty cool. Strong blue, strong green, strong red. Let's go ahead and uh, check some more. Go to distort. Again, you don't have to watch this part if you don't want. We're just... Uh, Checking out what, what is included, you can always just head down to the description and go ahead and grab these for yourself. Let's grab this bulge here. It looks pretty cool. Look at that. We got a nice bulge right there. Very, uh, you know, quick and simple bulge there. Of course, we could always animate that, make it larger. You could, of course, also use these, you know, to make your own uh, transitions. They don't have to be these sort of uh, effects only on the video, but. That's just an idea of what that does. Of course, keep in mind, you know, we're just doing a quick look at what some of these do and not going through everything. So right there, that's already really cool. Completely changed uh, the feel of that clip. Look at that. Let's go to another one. You can go to something like a mosaic. There you go, as you can see that. I'm not even gonna pop into that one. Let's go for some waves. You can see the waves there. And here's witness protection. Pop this in here, this head in here. Almost recognizable. You can see the area right there. So we'll go to the pixelated heavy so you can really see it. And I'll just drag this up here to uh, cover his face. Of course, we'd have to animate that some uh, to get a perfect delete that keyframe there. Then we could start here. Now we could do this manually. Uh, I guess we could do tracking as well, but let's just do it manually for now. We'll just move over here and let's put keyframe there. We're just going to do it manually. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be kind of dirty here. The keyframe there. Move it over here. And uh, keyframe there, I think, will work. Then we should be good. I should cover his face the whole time. Yep. So there you go. Quick and easy, uh, you know, witness protection style of uh, effect right there. Change that to a blur instead. Very cool. Now, of course, we have a mosaic and a blur already in Media Composer, but now you have two. Go on to generate. Just throw this on the same clip. Clouds. You wouldn't even have to throw something like this on a clip. You should. Uh, I'll just put it down here in this dead space here. And we can still get the same effect there. Star field. Here's some TV noise. But let me head over to this one instead. Be sure to use your, you know, your foldouts there because there's a lot of options in these... Uh, effects uh, 
you know, here's a in credits crawl. There's your drop shadow. Let's go to uh, grid or something. Just throw this on here. There we go. Now this one is actually pretty cool. I've already checked this one out. Can invert the grid. Block preset. Here's our color, and we can change our blending mode, which is really cool that they put the blending mode right in here. So let's go do something like a screen. So we can still see our video in the background there. And we take this off invert. Now we can see through if we put this on none. And we can see through those black portions. So there's stencil blending mode, which uh, this we can. Of course, you could do keyframes with this too. Uh, we have all kinds of options in here. You, know, you could uh, you know, animate this around all you want for you know some really cool effects there. Feather it out. And let me take that off of invert again. And go to color dodge. That's pretty cool. Again, you know, I do some keyframes on this or something. I have this moving around. You could do a really cool effect that just say it comes on and goes off during this clip here. But you know, just keep all this stuff in mind. We're kind of just checking things out here. What else we got? Good old letterbox. That should be uh, pretty self-explanatory there. Pop into it if you want. Four by three, 16 by nine. Bunch of different uh, presets here, All right? Let's grab this uh, light sword. Right there it is, our sword. Now this is something you definitely want to start keyframing around, you know, you can do a lot of stuff with this here. You know, uh, my computer is gonna slow down a little bit here because this is uh, CPU intensive. And like I said, I have to record the screen at the same time. So I can't show you you know everything but again remember your blending modes if you you know throw an, an effect on it and it's just the effect you may need to come down to your blending mode and try something like screen or add or you know uh, exclusion hard light uh, perhaps it really sort of depends on, on on what's you know what's behind it there's normal if we go to none then you'll see and we just have that so again my computer's slowing down a bit here go for a green there There we go. Change our blending mode back to add. There we go. But you can, you know, you sort of get the idea. You can animate this around however you want. Again, it's, it's sort of slow right now because I have to record the screen. But pretty cool to have that uh, on there. You can do a lot of a lot of stuff with this. Move that effect. Get my CPU power back. And then of course you have light sword. You got your four point manual. You have your glow only. And what we checked out, we checked out the two point auto. So you have four point manual, you have glow only. Uh, let's go for some pond ripples, which <laughs> are off the bat. That's, that's really cool. Droplets per second. We also have a, uh, a rain effect that we can use uh, as well. So that would, that would be kind of pretty cool to use. Maybe, maybe in conjunction with this, I don't know. Maybe one scene to have these sort of pond droplets. Let me actually remove this here. I know I have a better clip. Let's go to, uh, here we go. Go to this duck here. And grab our pond ripple on this duck. That might be, might be kind of cool in there. This is give it, you know, give it some sort of an effect. Let's drop that radio waves on there. Pop that on there. There you go, radio waves. Very cool. This is a generator again. You can uh, change your blending mode. Now look at that. So this would be great for. Um, let's go to shape here. Now you can make a, uh, a logo with this. Have this behind your logo or something. You know, generating in and out, maybe pumping in and out with some keyframes in there. That might be, might be uh, pretty cool. A bunch of different shapes here of course don't forget your blending modes don't forget those because those can make a huge difference you know especially once you start compositing you know a bunch of clips onto other clips and, and uh whatnot let me change this back to uh let's go for normal actually let's go with none just so we can see this here 
our opacity, fade in, all kinds of stuff we can do in here. All right. Again, you can try these out for yourself because it's uh, absolutely free. We'll do one or two more here. We have reflection, which right off the bat looks, as you can see, that's uh, pretty amazing there. You can see we still have the motion of the clouds there. Very cool. We can pop in here and uh, change this around a bit if we want. Change our angle around. We have a really, really quick reflect uh, effect there. We can do that with. Let me try something else that's got. This might be funny here. We could reflect on this cat. And there you go. So, of course, you pop in here and you can change. A lot of this stuff around so you can do some really cool effects you know real you know, real quickly i like this look at that <laughs> all right remove that let's just keep going through these man that's all we're doing here we're just going through these anytime you want you can stop the video and uh, just go grab these for yourself but i just want to show them off right here a little bit all right surface texture our environmental map uh here's none the layer let's go surface texture and the radius bring this up here so there's this and so again you know keyframes can be very important uh, to this uh, i'll just add a keyframe in the middle here and we'll just pull this up here for some reason and then we'll just maybe pull over here and i'll do another keyframe there just hitting that apostrophe key or the the quotes key there and then we'll have a nice motion here of this effect very cool all right move on to the next one what else again we you know we, i haven't even tried out everything we haven't tried out fractal noise the in credits crawl you can uh check all these out there's no way i can go through every single one but uh you should definitely check the rest of these out i'll, I'll show what i can here it's a very simple one tile setting something up like this you know manually would uh would take a while you know you'd have to stack a bunch of video tracks if you you know if you did it manually uh, it could take quite a while but like this man look at that drop it on there you know very cool very cool you can do that with a bunch of different things so this is a time code which we already have a time code uh, you know effect in media composer but there you go there's time code pop in there to see uh, your your options but if you want to do that, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and remove some of these. Free up some resources on our system. And we'll just remove that. All right. Let's go to our, our gradients and fills. And we'll just pop this right on our two ladies here. So again, you might say, well, that, you know, I'm scrubbing and it's not uh, doing anything. It's like, what good is that? Well, you got to pop into it. <laughs> Go to darkness. Go to James Bond. There's optical flare. Again, don't forget our blending mode. This is where a lot of power is going to come from here. Go to normal. Let me go to this darkness again. Or let's go to James Bond. And that on normal. Put this on. There we go. Put it on add. That's pretty cool right off the bat. You can try optical flare. Again, go to normal. Go to dark and you can see it right here. Or go back to darkness and say color burn. Very cool. Actually, I have a better clip that can show this off a little better, I think. We got a lot of clips on our timeline here. Come back to say this turtle here. And we'll grab this gradient here. Radio gradient. Pop into the effect. And let's go with the James Bond effect. And we'll go ahead and put this on, let's say, add. We can do screen two. That would work. We can do a real quick, real quick and easy sort of James Bond intro where this slides across the screen. So I'll just put it over here. I'm at the beginning of my clip that added my keyframes for me. All right. And then we'll go forward to here. I guess we can add a keyframe there. And I'll pull it up a bit to here. And let me go over to the, about the end. I'll just add my keyframe manually. Then we'll end it about there. 
So then we have that nice animation there. Very cool. Of course, there's you know much more you can do uh, with this here, but that's a pretty cool effect. Remove it. Let's go on to some grunge. So grain, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can see, actually that clip's not good for this. We'll go to this clip here. This should be a little more visible. I'm not sure if you can see that. I can go to full screen. You can see the grain in there. All right, you can give it kind of, sort of that old time feel. Make the monochrome, change the seed, change the amount of grain in there. Very simple plug in this one here, but uh, again, very powerful. Especially once you start, if you start to like composite a bunch of effects and clips you know, together with each other, this can be, uh, you know, very, very cool. Remove it. So our half tone. Now our half tone, I think I wanted to, well, I guess I'll just show you what it does first. Let's just throw this on this clip. So you can see that right there. Again, you know, really cool like that, but uh, you can do a lot of things with uh, your animation by using our, using our keyframes there. You can see we can have this sort of uh, zoom in to a to a picture there. Bunch of presets here. Say old news. Make this sort of like an old time sort of a city. If you want, you can come here and change all of this stuff here. But let me take this actually to something that has text on it because it's it's actually pretty cool if you do it. Uh, something like this. So as you can see, I could animate our resolution. I could start way back here and just have it animate in almost like, you know, the Benoni Studios being drawn on the screen. We could sort of do the same thing with our smooth source. Just animate it backwards to come in, put a nice sound effect under that uh, nice whoosh sound or something as that comes on. And of course, we can change the uh, background color there. Something like that uh, might be cool if you animated that along with you know this here which we can do let's just start it over here and at the beginning we'll just start there and at the end put another keyframe and then we'll just pull this in and pull this down so now whenever we scrub our clip it draws on screen for us there pretty cool right so just you know keep all of these sort of tips in mind on you know, just some some ways that you might want to uh, use these effects, these free effects. So we have jitter, noise, here's shake, which, you know, sometimes you know, I've looked at some shake plugins and they can be, you know, it's you know, pretty expensive. Yeah, you, I'm not sure you can see it very well. Let's try this clip here. It's a more static clip. So that hopefully you can see the shake in there. And of course you can over here on the uh, wrap, if we go no wrap, you can see as it shakes, if you look at the tops of the frame, the sides, the bottom of the frame, especially if we take the amount of the shake way up, you can see, you know, you can make a real, uh, like an earthquake sort of scene there very easily. But, uh, you know, this wrap comes into play there. So if we go to tile, you can see how it sort of tiles our, our uh, clip on each end. So, if, you know, if we left this on no, then it doesn't really look, you know, that good. I mean, you could do that with 3D Warp just like that, you know. But this here, if you go to uh, Reflect, now it looks seamless. You know, as it shakes, we're not getting, you know, just black screen there. So very cool. You can easily, like I said, easily make a uh, sort of earthquake uh, scene right there. Of course, tons of tons of different controls here. Of course, the motion blur, as you can see the motion blur there, if I go to full screen, you can see that blur, which looks really natural. Very cool. Let's go ahead and remove it. We'll move on, man. Lots, like I said, lots of uh, effects. This is sort of similar, but it's stutter. Again, I, I can't play back because it's not going to play uh, in full, you know, full speed, so you don't really see the stutter, but you can see the stutter as I scrub through it. And we can up this freeze frames, change the frame start with 20 there. I try to play back. See if I can actually just render this out real quick. And there we go. I rendered, uh, rendered it partially there. So you can see that's full, you know, full speed there. You can see how it stutters along. 
of course that's controlled by how much you know of the free freeze frames we put in there i, I put them you know put it up pretty high all right so again really cool effect there really you know really easy way to make that stutter effect there now on to keying i've had a few problems with the keying here uh, you know like i said media composer already has some really good keying options here in the key menu uh, spectromat is one of the best so you may not use the keys very much but you know they're here if uh, if you happen to want them so let's just grab this one our hue and rgb and uh let me there we go so not a bad key on this it's not it's not perfect we still have some lines around here and we, of course we can choose rgb instead of the hue invert it we can view you know view the map there all right and then if you wanted you could maybe use something down in this other category the the uh, king matte enhancements maybe try to use a matte cleaner maybe above it perhaps uh i'm just gonna drop it here maybe that would uh maybe you could clean some of that up a little bit you can see i can start feathering that down now with this effect and that's not you know that's not a bad key just put that one right on top of the other one and that's actually a pretty good key there okay but you know like i said in media composer we have some of the best uh keying around already but like i said man i mean it's there if you you know if you want to use it back to keying so we have color difference i think i have some more here we go color difference here very quick and easy should go ahead and take that green out all right and of course you can adjust it around not a, not a horrible key i'd still probably use spectrum at but there you go let's go ahead and remove that like i said i, I would come down here to key and just grab spectrum at because it is it is so good and uh let's just grab our color right there and immediately we see completely through you know the background too our background let me just monitor track one this is the background this clip right here that you're seeing all right so then we'll monitor this track with spectrum mat on it right here and then you can see right through it okay so like i said i i would use spectrum mat personally but you know you have those options you're keying you have demult uh you have you know color difference chroma uv blur we're not like i said i'm not going to go through all of these uh you can also use these for effects the keying uh you know you can always do as you can see the effect there even if you're not you know we're not keying anything out here really but sort of an effect there that's kind of cool if you see it full frame there versus if i go ahead and remove it and then you see right there okay so we're not really going to go through much of the uh the king or the king matte enhancements. We, we already saw one of the matte enhancements uh, earlier there. But you have, you know, invert alpha. Just some, you know, basic stuff here uh, that you can use if you want. Again, that's not going to really do, do much right there. But you can check those out for yourself. Okay. Let's move on to lights and flares. Let's grab a different clip here. What do you say we come down here? So here's auto light flare. You can see it sort of moving there. Not the camera, this camera pans up anyway in this clip, but you can see the light flare moving. Pop into it, make sure I have that clip selected. And look at all these options you have for light flares. A soft spot. See, we, you know, we've already changed the look of this clip with you know, a real quick uh, real quick plug in there just choosing a preset for a sun spike look at that nice morning time there and of course you have tons of options in here which we'll look more at in the uh the next one again your blending modes are very important on things like this very important go back to screen there we go your hot spot pivot positions again we can always uh, animate this with keyframes but let me go ahead and remove that. Then we'll go back to light flares. And uh, I'm gonna skip over this one for now. We're gonna do the 
light flares. This is the auto light flares that we just checked out. Now we're going to do the light flares. And maybe we'll choose a different clip. Let's go for something. There we go. And we'll use our light flares on this. So immediately we've changed the look of this clip. As you can see, it's not moving in this case. Um, I go back down to sun glare. Look at that. We've already placed the sun in our sky. You know, quick and easy. We can animate that if we want. Make it more intense. So right there. Look at that. We've already, we've added sun in the sky. And I can full frame. You, you know, you'd have no idea that wasn't the original shot. You know. Uh, you know, I tend to like light flares quite a bit. Lots of options in here. You know, these are great, great plugins. Again, absolutely free, man. Absolutely free. Scale, the color, hotspot. We can do the hue shift. You, know, you could animate a hue shift in there. Speed up this clip and then animate that hue, that hue shift. That'd be pretty cool. Again, our uh, blending modes, very important. Go to something like our exclusion there. Color dodge, normal. Let me do this light flare. Let me remove this one here. And let me find a different clip that, let's see. I guess uh, I need something where, where I have a person. This one here will be, this will be good here. Or this would be good, but we'll go with this one. So we'll grab our light flare again. And this time, we'll do, I see some hoops. Let's pull this up a bit. Let's go for, let's see, is a flashlight white. Again, keep in mind effects that you could do you know, with this. You could animate this to come up. Like, again, this could be a transition. Boom. Right to the next frame, which I guess we could do that. Remove it. So I'll come to here, just uh, like I said, man. Anytime you want, you can just go ahead and download these. We're just we're just messing around here with these, checking them out. Pop it right there, in between these two clips. So here's our flare right there. In between both those clips, let's go back to flashlight white. Um, I want this to be about in the middle. So, and I actually don't want the keyframe there. And the scale. Okay, so we're right in the middle now. So I want this to be about here. So I'll go ahead and mark my keyframe there. I'll come back to the beginning, mark a keyframe. This is quick and dirty, by the way. Just pull it all the way down. So as we can already see, boom. And there's the next frame, but we don't see the next frame, do we? So I'll go ahead and keyframe there. And we'll have the intensity come back down. So then, if I rendered this out and played it, it would look really good, but it would it would probably take a while to render. I mean, we can see. We got time here, right? Let's go and render this out so you can see it. Uh, uh, you know, of course, in Media Composer, we can always just grab this now, throw it down in our bin, and we can reuse that. We'll save it and reuse uh, this transition uh, whenever we uh, whenever we want. Let's go and let this fin finish rendering. There it is. There's the old rendering sound. And if I play this back goes through right there boom that was actually a bit long but could have made that shorter boom but you get the point again like i said i like light flare so we're actually gonna do this one here do it again because i want to do a uh another kind of flare so let's go for let's just see what else we got there there we go that's a nice that's more like a lens flare which like they don't have anything called lens flare on here it doesn't look like laser spike so we'll go back to something that looks more like a lens flare anamorphic that's actually really cool that would be cool to just have that pulsate you could have this pulsating that would be pretty cool there hoop that's like a lens flare lens flares look at all these different flares we have 
Here's a flashlight LED. So I can make this larger so you can actually see it right there. Here's spiked orange. All right, I want to take that down again. You can do like a sun over here. Of course, that doesn't look very, very good. Sun spike would look better in that case. Right there. Kind of like a lens flare. Let me go back to our spiked, which I like this one quite a bit, actually. So we'll go here with this IMAX. It's not bad. If we wanted to animate this, let me just get rid of these keyframes. Just hit delete there. Put a keyframe there. Let's put a keyframe here. I'll go ahead and animate it up here. And uh, come to the end. Keyframe and have it come down. So then right there we can have our, that's kind of a silly <laughs> lens flare there, especially with no other animation, but. Okay, so that's you know sort of a lens flare there. We've spent too much time on that one. <laughs> we have a lot more uh, to go through here. Let's check out Glow. We'll wrap this up pretty soon. Uh, This clip's fine. Grab our Glow, throw it on there. See a, uh, how this is. Again, immediately that's a much more dreamy uh, looking clip there. Very cool. Of course, we can change our blending modes, which make a huge difference. Very cool. Let's move on so we don't make this much, much longer. Check our Eon Glow. There you go. The intensity, grab a color, radius, clamp it to the, to the edge there, the radius down. It doesn't really work there, but I know where it actually does work pretty well. Come back here to our two females. And if we go to something like an orange, this will work pretty well on this clip here. As you can see, that already looks like a much more you know, stylized clip. And if we take the radius down, look at this. Look at that clip now. That just looks cool. We have a nice sort of a neon glow here in the middle. Of course, you can clamp that to the edge if you want, but maybe change the radius a bit. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. Nice, it's nice, you know, warm here in the center. It sort of draws the eye in here. It's a very interesting, uh, thing to do you know whenever you get these effects which again anytime you want you can stop watching just uh, grab it for free and try this for yourself uh you know go through load up a bunch of clips you know a bunch of stock clips or any clips that you happen to have and go through each and every one okay i just want to show you that this indeed is worth you know it's worth downloading i think we went through all those let's go ahead and go to uh particle and uh, simulation now these are really this is these are really cool here let me remove these clips here. Doesn't make much sense on this clip, but there you go, man. Look, look how easy that lightning was. It's animated already. Uh, quick and easy lightning right there. Look at that. Very cool. Of course, you have tons of options when it comes to your lightning. You can really dig in here all you want. Now it's on add right now. If we go to normal, that's what it looks like, color dodge. And that's why I keep mentioning the blending modes, especially if you're new. Uh, blending modes make a giant, you know, a giant difference into how your effect is going to look when you start compositing it uh, onto something else. So, of course, this looks sort of silly here. Let's let's just go ahead and uh, remove it. Let's go to something that where it would make more sense. Here we go. This would make, it would make more sense here if we had some, maybe a lightning or something in the sky. Open up our effect editor, which is, of course, that button right there if you haven't, uh, if you don't know that. And first thing I'll do is drag this up here so it's starting up there in the sky, which of course makes more sense. So there you go. Very easy, very quick. Add more trunks. Core, here we are, glow. I'm gonna change this to green, which makes absolutely no sense. You can do that if you want though. Maybe a nice uh, light yellow. There you go. I actually kinda like that blue a bit better. You can see that in full screen. Just using the arrow keys there to uh, scrub around. 
very cool. And the animation tab. So of course your speed, you can slow it down. Scale and whatnot. Okay. And of course, like, you know, as I always mentioned, you can do a bunch of keyframes in here as well and change stuff around and have it uh, move around even more. Very cool. You know, effects like that can be, you know, pretty expensive to, to buy and this is absolutely free. Now this is another really cool one here, the rain on glass. Let's go and get to this. I mean, right there, there you go. You can see, I mean, full screen. Look at that. I'll play through a little bit here. Rain on glass, look at that. You know, we haven't even hopped in to the effect editor yet. <laughs> you know, I just threw it on there. So here's your presets, make it a downpour, medium. Let's go to downpour. And uh, we have yeah, our reflecting here. So it's on mirror, you put it on tile, you can see around the edges of the, of the screen. If I put it on full screen, maybe you can see it better. You can see around the edges of the screen. That might look, you know, that might work for your clip. I don't like it, but you know, it you know depends on the clip, of course. Uh, might make it look more like actual glass there. So then we can take our layer of scale. And again, you can do you know some cool effects with this as well. Look at that. Very cool. Uh, let me uh, let's remove that and let's go to our the duck around here somewhere. There it is. Right there. So make our duck begin some rain. Head into our effect mode. So right there, we've changed the look of that clip again. A lot of options in here. Uh, our drop size, drops per second. We already mentioned the uh, presets there. So here's glass thickness. You can change that. Our layer distance. And then our environment map, you can use that or not. And take the amount up, take the scale up or down. And you can see right there. Hopefully you can see that I can go full screen. So over here on this side of the screen where my cursor is moving, you can see how that really does sort of look like reflecting glass with our environment map there. Look at that. Pretty cool. So of course you can, you know, you can come in here and try all this stuff for yourself, but you can do a lot of really cool effects here. I was messing with this one here for quite a while. Uh, you can turn this to off if you want. And again, you can just, if this effect would work for you, then use this effect. I mean, it might be cool to do something like that. Tile it or mirror. Look at that. Really quick effect right there. All right, let's move on, man. We got a few more to go through. On here to scene. Our parallax looks. Parallax, uh... Give it some depth. Kind of cool there. Invert the map. The uh, bump height. Sort of a basic there, but pretty cool nonetheless. You know, it would work better on, you know, on different scenes, of course. Not always going to work on whichever one I just happened to, to choose at the, at the time. All right, let's go ahead and remove that and move on. Now we have stylize. So we have cartoon. Again, look at, look at that. I just dropped it on there, done. We styled up this clip. Let's go to another clip that this would work on. Uh, this would work on our on our two uh, uh, females here. Again, right there. Really quick and easy to do. Obviously, you have plenty of presets in here as well. Okay. Make it neon. Now, that's actually a really cool effect right there. Pull this up. Where's the edge look at that now that's a cool clip just playing through real slowly there pretty cool all right what else we got here's some emboss you can see that there which is uh you know, embossing your blend amount, edge width. Again, very cool how you can do that real quick there again with these completely free effects. There's find edges again. Another cool 
effect there really quick and easy to do. You know, you can do your whole video with just this effect, you know, laid over, uh, just laid over all of the clips, which, you know, I've been dropping um, effects, you know, right on the clip, but just for those who don't know about Media Composer, I could just drop this in a blank area. Now, let me make sure we're monitoring this top track. Now, all of our clips that we go over will have that effect over the, as you can see right there. So, come back here and grab my effect first. I'm going to invert it. Of course, it's going to work better on some clips than others, but as you can see, all of our clips sort of had that almost drawn-like effect. Really quick and easy there. Remove it. Let's drop this on here. Glow darks. Again, great effect. Look at that there. Look at that scene. Very cool. The intensity. This might be cool to, again, animate this. Either coming on or off. One of the two there would be pretty, pretty cool. Posterize. You probably already know what this is. You see that there. And smooth it out a bit. All right. Let me go ahead and remove that. Just going to remove some of these other clips too. These other effects. Get rid of those. Back to stylize. Solarize. There you go. Quick and easy effect. Uh, pretty, uh, let's actually see this with a person. There we go. You can see that effect there. Invert it. All right. Almost done here. And then here's threshold. That's almost like a like a black and white, but almost like it's uh, almost like a drawn, you know, artwork, black and white. It's pretty cool. You know, you you know, we've completely changed the look of that scene there. Quick and easy, man. Remove it. There you go. We're back to your normal clip. What else we got here? Temporal. So here's a time reverse. We already have a reverse plugin that we can use in Media Composer. So I don't know, uh, you know, if you'll be using this one, but it just, you know, it's playing it backwards. As you can see, this is the end of the clip. And now this takes us to the front of the clip. Just reversing it for us. On to warp, man. Action cam lens distort. Pop this up. See how it's distorting the image there. You could actually probably tell this better if I used a uh, a lighter clip. This will probably work better. Pull this up. Now you can see it much better. Of course, you have a bunch of uh, options in there. Make it kind of look like a like a GoPro. All right, let's move on, man. This is our last uh, category, by the way. So we'll just go through some of these here. Another warp. Again, you know, we can do effects with this here. There's a bunch of areas we can pull around here if we wanted to pull them around manually. A lot of stuff you could do here. Back to warp here. Perspective warp. I probably don't have to go through all of these. Uh, you can probably get the idea of the rest of these here. But uh, there you go. Perspective warp. Real quick and easy. You know, changing that around. Uh, let me go to a different clip here. And grab that perspective warp again. Let me expand my timeline a bit. And there we go. And of course, we have our reflect or tile or whatever you would uh, want to choose if we went to no. And of course, then you have that, which is pretty cool. A 
There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Quick and easy. I mean, doing something like that manually would take quite a while. But here, no problem at all. There we go. Look at that. Quick and easy clip there. It's a polar warp. And you're really gonna have to dig in here yourself and uh, try try all this stuff out for yourself. Let's go to tile and uh, tile. There we go. Pretty cool. Reverse it. Reflect it. Reflect it. There we go. And you can make a transition out of this. Just throw it on top of a couple clips and then animate it with your keyframes right into your uh, uh, next clip. It'd be pretty cool. Let's see. We have a quad warp. I guess we can go through the rest of these. We've been here long enough, right? Might as well go through the, uh, the rest of them. Why not? Or to see here. Start adjusting some of this here. There we go. That's just a nice warp that you can do. Again, very cool, very easy. You know, I'd, I'd probably use a 3D warp for this. Uh, just because I'm so used to it. But there you go. You have it. If you want to use it. Let's go to a different clip here again. Then spherical warp pop in here. You get the uh, idea there. Change this to tile. Change this to tile. Spin that around. Look at that. Again, animating this would be pretty cool. Scale it. You know, we could uh, put my keyframes here, keyframes here. We'll scale it and shift it and just pull it up like this. And then it'll move as we scroll through there. Pretty cool. All right. That's about it. Is there a displacement warp? Last one. There you go. So as you can see, our displacement warp right there. You can spin it around all you want. Again, this would be... You could probably use this for a transition or what as well. Just animate it however you want. Uh, tile. Clamp it. And animate that depth, and the radius. And of course, the angle. All right, so that's pretty much pretty much it. I think we've gone over all of the effects. Something like uh, 80 some work here in Media Composer. We didn't go through every single one, of course, but uh, definitely come in here and uh, try some of these effects. Again, they're absolutely free. There's no reason, no reason not to. That's pretty cool. I don't think we went through this one, did we? Pixelation. Some wavy lines in there. Again, a lot of stuff you can do with uh, effects here in uh, Media Composer, man. Of course, like you know, as I mentioned, these these effects will work in other NLEs as well. You know, they'll work in Premiere Pro and Final Cut and Sony Vegas and whatnot. And uh, you know, try them. We have some text here. Um, let me go in here. I already have the uh, rain on glass on top of our our, um, our text layer and then this skull layer here. So the uh, rain on glass effect, you can see how that is affecting both of these layers. You can see how our media composer text, text, text that I wrote out is being sort of uh, uh, reflected there in the back, which is really cool. So like I said, you know, try this over some text, um, you know, not, not, uh, you know, not, not uh, solid text on a solid background, but uh, something with a mask, which, you know, obviously, you know, this would have on it. We're using uh, Tyler Pro 2 for the text. And then we just put the rain on glass over top of that you get that uh, really cool effect right there. And of course we could uh, change this around. If I turn the environment uh, map off, then we just sort of see the rain still coming down. If I can go full screen, you can still see the rain, but turn that environment map on. Now look at that. That, is just, that just looked cool. All right. 
layer distance here, all kinds of stuff you can do. All right, so head on over to a hit film and download Ignite Express uh, absolutely for free. Grab all of these plugins. Again, we didn't go through all of them, but we went through quite a bit of them. And you saw the power of, you know, a lot of these effects. And hopefully I went through, you know, just some, you know, just some ideas of, uh, you know, things you can do. Keep in mind your blending modes. Blending modes are going to be uh, very important for, you know, for a lot of these, uh, for a lot of these effects, you know. And uh, keep in mind your keyframes, animating things, uh, whatnot. Again, you know, animating things, keyframes is not specific to the Ignite effects. That's, uh, that's I mean, that's in every NLE. It's not uh, just Media Composer, but that's a Media Composer uh, uh, feature uh, that I'm talking about there. I really like this effect here, this neon glow, just putting that down. Nice warm orange. It looks pretty cool in that clip. Maybe we can have electricity hitting our snowboarder there if we want. We can drag this up here. <laughs> so it strikes right, boom, right there. Like I said, a lot of things uh, we can do with uh, all of these free effects. And again, if you don't have Media Composer, if you don't have uh, Sony Vegas or or any other non-linear editor for your videos, you can always get Hit Film Express for free uh, as well. But like I said, it's it's much more like uh, Premiere Pro than it is Media Composer. But if you don't have a non-linear editor, you don't have Media Composer, you don't have... Uh, you know, anything like that, you don't have uh, Premiere Pro or anything, definitely check out HitFilm. It's it's quite capable even for even for being free. Even, you know, as you can see, these effects from HitFilm are free. And you can see how, you know, how powerful they are. Uh, you can also check out HitFilm Express for free as well, man. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check the description below for the links to get all of these cool effects from HitFilm, get them absolutely for free, and they'll work right here in Avid Media Composer.